All right, and welcome everybody. Uh, brand new game on the channel. Hoping to make a kind of a long-term series out of this one. Uh, it's called Screw Up. It is uh, recommended to me by my buddy at Medley of Games. Um, awesome dude, and an awesome recommendation. I'll see if I can put the uh, the link to his channel down below. Uh, definitely give it a check out. He's got some awesome, amazing uh, Let's Play series on his channel. Uh, and otherwise, let's jump into this one here. So, and I just want to say thank you for the recommendation. I've played a little bit of this one already, just a few, a little bit to try to get into it. Uh, understand the mechanics a bit, make sure it runs on my computer, all that good stuff. And uh, this bad boy is, well, it came back, it came out back in July. Uh, it's made by a 199 cent studio. And one of the most amazing things about it is, is that it is a dollar ninety-nine American. So, for a whole hundred and ninety-nine pennies, you can pick this game up, and it's <laughs> so far well worth it. And there's a lot of <laughs> worse things that you can spend two bucks on. Let me tell you. So let's jump on in. Uh, we are going to start a new game, and we're looking at. I kind of already know the attribute points I want to put in there. Um, I don't know, I went through a few, there's a few hairstyles, kind of like the uh, bed head, the messy look here, that's how I look when I get up out of the bed in the morning. Uh, Alright, we'll go with some uh, brown hair, and we'll go with, I can't remember, we have, there was purple pants, uh, you know what, let's go with like, let's go with the pink pants, because you know what, nobody's going to steal my pink pants, I feel like. And skin color will give him just a, a tiny bit of a tan. I feel like without that shirt on, my boy here would be out on the beach. He'd be getting a bit of a tan going. So, uh, not pasty white like I usually am every spring coming into summer. So, with that, I just want to just show you guys these little cat things. I think they're amazing. They make me laugh. I love them. I feel like. I don't know, I feel like this guy was a pirate on a ship somewhere, and the ship went overboard, and all they had were these cat life rafts. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what's up with that, but they're pretty fun, so. Uh, but yeah, if you have checked it out at all, definitely leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. It's, uh, although it says that it's full release, or it at least doesn't say early access, um, I know that uh, in looking into what the developers have been doing, that there's a lot of stuff coming out, and actually a new update that looks like it's supposed to be coming out here on the 24th of September, so just in a couple days, which is very cool. Uh, I was looking at the patch notes, and it looks like it's a big update with a lot of cool stuff coming, so I'm pretty excited, and I do hope that they do a lot more going forward. Um, the game has a ton of potential. Very, very cool. And... My goal for today, if you look up in the top left, is our active quests. I just want to kind of follow some of that. And, hey, all right. Some repair kits just hanging about. And some rum. <laughs> Every pirate needs a little bit of rum. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just want to follow a little bit of the quests here. Show you guys a bit of the mechanics. Um, in case you haven't seen this yet. Uh, if you have, cool. Thank you for hanging out. And hope you enjoy the video. And let me know if there's some things that... Uh, I miss that you know of that I didn't that I didn't collect on. So, um, like I said, I only played a tiny bit of this. Still new, and I want to get to the point where we get uh, a base going. So, uh, that's kind of the end goal. Show you guys some mechanics, build a couple things, get a little base happening. For now, we're gonna grab this sharp stone. Um, we built that. Collect sharp stones. Craft an equip sharp stone let's put that in our hot bar here we go yay all right way to go dude let's grab some crab meat uh we'll grab a few more stones so pretty standard of your of most of your uh survival type games which i mean anybody who's seen anything on my channel knows i'm all about those absolutely love them uh arc Belheim, all these kinds of games Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Shark. You're still hanging out there. They haven't cut you down yet. Man, I thought you would have been gone, but look at those teeth. Do you brush? You floss, don't you? You must floss. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's the first time I've ever actually heard him chomp in my ear like that. That's cool. Uh, I know of these. 
Yes, I'm gonna just take them right away because I mean, why not? I feel like they're pretty valuable. So we're gonna collect some wood. Now that we got this going on. Might as well use up this free axe that someone just left lying around. Thank you to whoever did that. You are amazing. And speaking of amazing, thank you so much to everyone who's been hanging out and supporting the channel. Greatly appreciate it. You guys are amazing. And uh, super happy, super lucky. I, on the way to 100 subscribers and I couldn't be happier. I never even thought I'd get past 10. Let's be honest. So um, thank you to everyone who's been hanging out and watching. Uh, we need to craft a campfire now. So we'll cut down a few more trees. Um, and in kind of scoping out a little bit, like I said, I just, I, I did a little bit of exploration. Um, and got a little bit. Oh, this is pretty cool. You can, boop. Thank you, Mr. Rat, for your rat meat. Um, and yeah, I was just kind of looking around, scoping out the area, and I'm all about trying to find a half decent place to build a little base. So I've got a little spot in mind. It's semi central, and it's kind of close to the uh, the pits where you get your metal from, the quarry. So, uh, which is pretty important from the looks of it. I didn't get too much into it, but I did see where the quarry is, and we're gonna go down and take a look at that. Hopefully, maybe in the second episode. Yeah, I feel like it might be a second episode too. So. Oh, and then this—this this was one of my favorite things ever. Use the portal. Okay, this was super shiny. I had to push it earlier. Ah! Boom! <laughs> uh, and it just—I don't know—it's a trick portal. It just throws you out to sea. I love it. Um, my understanding is, uh, is that it's later on supposed to be connected to other portals. I don't know if you have to go out and find them and then it, it connects to each of them every time you, you unlock one, but, uh, yeah, I just, I absolutely love that. Get out, crab. Alright, let's build our campfire. Um, I'm gonna take you guys through and I'll meet you out where we're gonna actually look at laying down kind of our roots of our base here. <laughs> there you go. Wow, that did not do a ton of damage, but yeah, it's still effective. All right, so that was our little skeleton friend there. Um, I don't know if that's going to be close or not, but anyways, this is the spot that I was looking at. I I don't know what it was about this one. Um, the quarry is right up there, and then there's this island over here. I'm kind of hoping that we get to go explore soon. There's a little bit back that way, village is back that way, um, but this one was flat, so the the building, I played around a little bit with it, and uh, it's very, very hard to uh, get a good roof or ceiling on your structure, so um, not a lot of room to build a, a huge, huge base, I feel like, at the moment. I gotta play around with it a little bit more and see... Um, I don't know, just do some more test runs, see see what else I can build and make it big. But I like this spot, it was flat, which was cool. Um, and then kind of like in this little secluded area, you can leave the trees around it. So I just like that concept. Oh yeah, you're back already. Wow, you spawned really fast. All right, uh, build a campfire, let's do that. And we'll throw it down here for now. Craft us up one of these, throw some wood on it, cook us up some meat. Uh, meat, raw crab meat, and raw meat, which we got from the rats earlier. We can cook that up. There we go. Let's, uh, let's throw that in there. Turn on a little bit of wood. A little bit of cooking. Yes. Uh, we want these coconuts back on us. Okay. So while that's doing its thing, uh, collect cook crab meat let's chop down a few more trees because i know that we're gonna have to start building here pretty soon all right let's check this bad boy we got enough here yeah we got enough here now so we can turn that off for now because we're gonna need our wood for building here shortly uh eat coconut which we've already done and i need some crab meat so i mean we're just going through your basic tutorial stuff at the moment Get our food and water back up a little bit. 
Oh, we got a storm incoming. All right. Cool, cool. A little bit wet. All right, we've got our trees down. Man, this this wood hat is pretty handy because I feel like some of these coconuts would just be hitting me in the noggin and they would not feel so good when they come down. Uh, all right, we need a building plan and we need a mallet to do some building. All right, let's go build that. Thank you, coconuts. You again? I thought I took care of you already. Yeah, here. You and your crazy third leg. All right. Uh, we want coconuts. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. All right. Um, let's see here. We need. Uh, building plan. Build that, and we'll build a mallet. Put that in our crafting queue. Okay, let's put that on. Spoiled coconut. We don't need that on our bar. Okay, so now we've got this lovely little uh, quest here to set us up with a little base. Um, it's supposed to be just a two foundation base. I tend to go a little bit bigger than that. This is where I was kind of playing around with the building and it wasn't really working, I guess, the vision that I had uh, was not really happening. So, that being said, we'll do roll one. Uh, I bring the door. So let's throw a door. Um, do we need a second door? So what if we put a second door out over here? And our walls. Uh, let's do a window wall there. A window wall there. Uh, we'll do one on the back. Give us a look out over there. And some regular walls. Okay, there's one, there's two. Alright, some good stuff there. Okay. Um, now then, uh, which way do we want a peak to go? Let's do a peak going. So roof, let's see if we can do it this way. Alright, so we are on the dawn of day number two. I'm pretty sure I've eaten like two dozen freaking coconuts now. Uh, I think this guy's probably tired of coconuts. Hey, look at that. Yay, dropped us some loot. Another bottle of rum. That'll go good with some coconuts, I do think. Uh, and we're back. I went and did some, like I said, some farming during the night. Got some more wood. We're gonna finish off this bad boy for today. All right, let's get on in here. Uh, yes, sir. And we need some more ceiling tiles. Uh, but for now, okay, so ceiling here. So to finish off this quest, we need a ramp and we need a couple ceilings. So here's where the trick comes into play. Cause if I go to put one here, uh, there's no support. So it just breaks. Alright, that's kind of what I was expecting. So, we have to. Uh, I'm going to play around with this and I'm going to see how I want to build this out. Alright, so I grabbed a bit more materials and threw up our little ramps here to get up to the base. And we now have our new quest. To place a totem, place a door, and a symbol lock on said door. So, uh, let's head through our crafting materials here. Our totem, we've got the wood to make that. Our wooden door, well, we're making two of them. So I made sure to grab a little extra. And our symbol door lock, which is just made out of wooden fiber. So, um, I mean, right now it's just locks are only for personal use. Uh, for interaction, you need a you need to craft a key. Be careful not to lose the key or craft the new one. Um, all right, so we're gonna throw this stuff up. Uh, put on our hotbar. 
sword doors, one there, and one there. Uh, our totem, I feel like we'll just throw our totem down over here. Eat a coconut, get some water, throw some locks on. Alright, let's put that one on there. And one more on there. Okay. Right. So come in. So this is the start of our house. Uh, I think this is gonna be a little bedroom here. Uh, and then this is gonna be a bit of a crafting area with some storage. I might see about putting like a stair up to that one there, maybe, and come around here, maybe have something hidden up top there. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and in the meantime, um, I'm going to go out and I'm going to grab some more stuff. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Um, I really like kind of the progress we got so far. We got ourselves a, a cool looking little house after being stranded on this crazy bunch of islands that we have no idea where we are. And we're laying down some roots and making ourselves a little spot to, to hang out. So uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please drop a like for me down below. Very much appreciate all the support. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you're playing this or if you're interested in playing this. I mean, at a $2 price point, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty fun. There's, like I said earlier, a lot of worse things that you can spend two bucks on. So um, next time we come back, we're going to go explore that town area. I know there's lots of goodies over there to go grab. And uh, we'll continue on doing some questing. So, but for now, we'll be off camera and I'm going to go grab some more uh, materials. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for hanging out. And we will catch you guys in the next episode.